Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. What's the area of the semicircle? We have a triangle inside a semicircle and divided into two right triangles with areas 8 square units for the green and for the blue 32 square units. We are required to find the area of the semicircle. But before we go to the solution, may I request you to please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we need to draw this circle as a whole. And if we draw this, then we also draw a line from this point two downwards and this is the same as this length so if we label this as h then this is also h then we label the base of this eight square unit triangle as x1 and the 32 square unit triangle as x2 the base and we use intersecting chords theorem and we may say by by intersecting chords theorem that h times h equals x1 times x2 and h square is equal to x1 x2 and h is equal to square root of x1 times x2 next is we write the area formula for the two triangles for the green triangle we have 8 is equal to 1 half times the base which is x1 times the height which is h and this would be our equation one and for the next triangle we have 32 is equal to one half times x2 times h and this would be our equation two then we just need to divide these two equations then we have this four then this cancels out then this cancels out also and therefore we have x1 times 4 or 4x1 is equal to x2 if we cross multiply okay so next thing that we need to do is we need to use again the two equations about the area but this time is we need to multiply the two equations then we get 8 times 32 is equal to 256 and 1 half times 1 half is equal to 1 4 times x1 times x2 times h square but actually x1 times x2 is equal to h square so we have h to the fourth but if you cross multiply this 4 to 256, you will get 1024. But actually, two, 1024 can be written as 2 raised to 10. But we need to get the fourth root of both sides. So we have this becomes h if we get the fourth root of that. So Continuing, we have 2 raised to 5 halves. If you simplify 10 over 4, is equal to h. Then, this can be written as the square root of 2 raised to 4 times 
is equal to h. And if you simplify this, you will have h is equal to 2 square, square root of 2, or simply h is equal to 4 square root of 2 units. Okay, so next is we use the first equation. So we have 8 times 2 is equal to 16 if you cross multiply. Then we solve for h as 4 square root of 2. Then times x1. So if you try to simplify, then divide this by 4. Then you have 4. Then cancel this. Then x1 is equal to 4 over square root of 2. But you need to rationalize this. Then you multiply square root of 2 with square root of 2. Then you get 4 square root of 2 over 2. And simplifying further, you have 2 square root of 2 for the value of x1. 2 square root of 2 units. Next is we get the value of x2 x2 is equal to 4 times x1. x2 is equal to 4 times 2 square root of 2, the value of x1 that we got earlier. So x2 is equal to 8 square root of 2 units. Next is we get the diameter of the semicircle. And that is simply x1 plus x2. And diameter is equal to x1, which is 2 square root of 2 plus 8 square root of 2. So diameter is equal to 10 square root of 2 units. Okay, so now that we know the diameter of the semicircle, it is now easy to find the area of this semicircle. So area is equal to pi times d square over 4 since diameter is given, but you need to multiply by 1 half because it is a semicircle. So area is equal to pi times the diameter, which is 10 square root of 2 squared over 4 times one half. And if you square this 10, this becomes 100. Square root of 2 squared, this becomes 2 over 4 times one half. Then times pi. Then you just need to cancel this 2 and 2. And 100 divided by 4 is equal to 25. So the area for this semicircle is equal to 25 pi square units. And this is our final answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.